In Turkey, the first factory for manufacturing humanoid robots has opened in the central Anatolian province of Konya. Aiken Robotics, founded by Akinsoft, has begun mass production of the first humanoid robots in Turkey. The company's robot family includes over 120 domestically produced robots working in sectors such as entertainment, healthcare, food and beverage, education, tourism, advertising and broadcasting. The robots created at the factory are capable of processing sound, speaking, detecting smells, using the internet, and recognizing faces. The chairman of the board of directors of Akinsoft spoke positively about the factory, construction of which was completed in just 1.5 years. These robots can perform tasks such as promoting products in shopping centers, distributing brochures at fairs, escorting at bus terminals or airports, and making sales in stores. These robots, which can even work as nurses in hospitals, are programmed to provide specific assistance to housewives. The company's service robots can autonomously move, charge themselves, pre-study table layouts, and escort customers to them. After adding speech recognition functionality, the robots can provide information about the services offered at each stage, including details such as which table to take the tray from. These robots are not only used in the service industry, such as cafes and restaurants, but have also begun to be deployed in factories for routine tasks and have the ability to perform similar tasks in some hospitals. A Chinese factory has replaced 90% of its employees with robots and achieved a 250% increase in productivity. Technological progress is advancing very rapidly in our time. Among other areas where progress is strongly evident is industrial robotics. Specialists are creating new robots that in many cases are much more efficient than humans. One example is the replacement of workers at one of China's industrial enterprises in the city of Dongguan. Out of the 650 people working at the factory, the management left only 60, replacing the rest with robots. The remaining employees only perform maintenance work on their metal colleagues. In other words, the staff's responsibilities include ensuring the continuity of the production process. If any of the robots start to malfunction, they are quickly fixed. Robotic manipulators are stationed at every key assembly stage, each performing a limited set of operations. Even the vehicles used for cargo transportation operate autonomously at the factory. 60 personnel servicing the robots is quite a lot. On the other hand, the robots themselves are complex systems that require supervision. Everything is going smoothly now, so the factory manager is even considering reducing the staff from 60 to 20 people. The effect of replacing people with robots did not take long to manifest. The factory's productivity immediately increased by 250%. Moreover, the number of defective parts sharply decreased from 25 to 5%. From a business perspective, the management made the right decision by replacing unskilled personnel, as a 25% defect rate is very high. Overall, in southern China, more than 1,500 enterprises are gradually replacing their employees with robots, and over time this trend is only intensifying. Understandably, those Chinese workers who lost their jobs due to robots are not very happy about what happened. Therefore, strikes and protests are regularly held in the region. However, these measures have not yielded results yet. Experts, on the other hand, predict that by 2025, approximately one-third of the types of work performed by humans in enterprises will be done by robots, smart devices, and specialized software. This applies not only to China but to the entire world. This is a unique picture where over 2,000 robots pick grocery orders at the Hive Warehouse in London. Here at the Okado Warehouse covering an area of 52,300 square meters, more than 2,000 eight-wheeled perfectly synchronized warehouse robots are deployed to pick orders. These robots extract goods from a cellular vertical structure along the ceiling on which they move. The company decided to completely abandon live personnel to make all warehouse processes fully automatic. The robots move at speeds of up to 4 meters per second. Each robot operates for about 20 hours a day. There are about 50,000 different items in the warehouse. The robots deliver the goods to the picking station, where the delivered items are scanned by a human. The robots form a single large order in 10 minutes. For comparison, performing such a task by a human employee could take about 45 to 60 minutes. It can be said that the robots act five times faster than humans. This is not the first warehouse where Okado Technologies robots have been deployed. There is also negative experience. Robots from this company have twice caused fires in warehouse complexes, once in London and once in Andover. The Chinese company Alibaba has also decided to replace live personnel with robots. Due to this, 
the warehouse owned by the electronic commerce giant Alibaba has increased its productivity by 300% by incorporating robots into the workflow. The warehouse is located in Huizhou, Guangdong province, covering an area of almost 3,000 square meters. The robots, equipped with artificial intelligence, recently appeared here and were created by the well-known company Quicktron, located in Shanghai. The robots receive tasks via Wi-Fi and assist people working on operations such as packaging and storage control. They transport necessary racks and other loads weighing up to 500 kilograms at speeds of up to 1.5 meters per second. In total, over 1,000 intelligent robots work in the warehouse. The robots use lasers to navigate the warehouse and can communicate with each other. For example, to yield to other robots to avoid collisions. The robots know when their battery charge is running out and autonomously come for recharging. According to Placetech, a packer at this Alibaba warehouse used to walk an average of 28,000 steps per shift. After robotization, this number of steps has been reduced to two and a half thousands, indicating the incredible efficiency of the robots. Turkish-owned parcel distribution company Kurianet has installed Europe's biggest application of robot-based sortation technology. Designed and fitted by Libiao Robotics, in conjunction with its Turkish distribution and after-sales support partner Lodemaster, the system has been implemented at Kurianet's Tuzla facility on the outskirts of Istanbul. The system uses 120 Libiao Mini Yellow autonomous mobile robots to connect over 700 destination chutes with five parcel induction points with the capacity to process a whopping 45,000 items per hour. This range is a cost-efficient and flexible alternative to the traditional tilt tray and cross-belt conveyor-based sortation systems. Each robot requires just one-fifth of the floor space needed for conveyor systems, has a load capacity of up to 10 kilograms, and is equipped with collision avoidance technology to ensure safety during route-based tasks. Fixed equipment lacks the flexibility needed to adapt to the constantly changing throughput requirements of a modern parcel fulfillment business. But by shifting from static cross-belt sorters to ultra-energy efficient and flexible AMR technology, warehouse operators are reinventing the way that parcel sortation works. There can be no doubt that robotic sorting systems are a game-changer for the logistics sector. They are also good news for the environment. Write in the comments what you liked most after watching this video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the Caro Show channel. Also check out our previous videos. See you next time.